Hi everyone, today we'll be building and coding a single button MIDI controller. This tutorial is meant to be scaled up, so if you want a controller with 13 buttons, you can follow the same procedure. Let's start by looking at the materials we are going to need. We are going to use an Arduino Pro Micro today with the fantastic MIDI controller library, which you can download from the GitHub link in the description. You also have to have the Arduino IDE software downloaded, the Pro Micro can be found on Amazon, and the rest of the bits are usually included in your basic Arduino hobby kit. Let's get rolling. I'm writing this code from scratch to show the process, but the completed code is linked below. We are going to start by including some comments about what this sketch does and giving credit to the creator of the MIDI controller library. The first thing we need to write is to include the library we imported into the IDE. This essentially allows the Arduino to understand the MIDI language and act as a MIDI device. Next, we are going to include some code mumbo jumbo that lets the Arduino set the default volume level of any MIDI note played to full. In the next line, we tell the Arduino what note it might expect to play. We are only going to use one here, but this is where you would put more if you wanted additional notes. Here is where we tell the Arduino where the buttons are and what notes they play if they are pressed. I'll comment the format in the code, but the first value is the input pin, then the note, MIDI channel, and finally, instructions to play the note full value. Again, if you had more buttons, you would declare them here. Check the linked code for example. We are also going to add a potentiometer to our instrument. We are going to have it send volume MIDI CC data, so we can just plug and play with digital audio workstations that don't offer MIDI mapping. See the GitHub repository for a full list of assignable MIDI CC controls. We are almost done with the code now. We don't need to write anything in the setup, and the only instructions we need to put in the loop is the MIDI controller refresh command, which just checks over and over if any buttons have been pressed or dials have been turned. Before we build the circuit, we are going to compile the code to make sure everything looks good. We'll go up to the Tools menu and select the Arduino Leonardo setting and save our sketch with a name. Once it is saved, it will compile the code, and if it says Done Compiling, we have a good idea that we have written the code without any huge errors. Now we can build the circuit. First, let's connect the VCC pin to the positive rail on the breadboard, and connect the positive pin on the potentiometer to the positive rail. Next, we are going to connect the ground pins of the Arduino, potentiometer, and button all to the ground rail. Feel free to pause the video to go at your own pace. Next, we connect a wire from the button to pin 2 of the Arduino. And lastly, connect the middle data pin of the potentiometer to the A0 pin on the Arduino. Double check your wiring and connect the USB cable to upload your code. Back in the Tools menu, we make sure that the correct board is selected in the Port menu, and it will be called Leonardo or something like that. Then hit the Upload button, and in a few moments, the code will transfer to your Arduino. I am using a MIDI monitor to check that things are working more or less as expected. And with the exception of it playing C3 instead of C4, things are working just fine. I have tested this with GarageBand and Ableton, and everything works well. But today, let's try and connect it to the Soundtrap digital audio workstation. We will start a blank session and then add a new instrument. I want a gnarly sounding synth. The last step is to go up to the MIDI settings and make sure that the Arduino Leonardo is selected so Soundtrap knows to listen for incoming data from our controller. We can now see the note feedback as well as the volume knob adjustment. Let's listen to a live sample now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps. Post any questions in the comments, and check out my Instructable page for more project ideas.